I love the way the water is just kind of it's like, like ripples. gently rippling down. It's kind of like a jello mold. Sometimes I get so intent on getting the right shot, which I really enjoy doing. I enjoy getting a good shot or an interesting shot, but sometimes I'm so busy looking at things through the lens of the camera that I forget to sometimes just put the camera down and look at it with my own eyes <laughs> and just enjoy the moment, be in the moment. So I gotta remind myself to do that more often. Dropping off a postcard for the niece. Oh, there's some elk. Oh, some elk. Oh, just hanging out like a lawn ornament. Oh, that one is a baby. Oh, yeah. Warning, do not approach animals. Yeah, definitely. That is a mom. I actually think she got up because somebody got out of their car. Yeah, probably. Now she's positioned herself more in front of the baby. Huh, that's wild. How crazy would that be if that was where you worked? That's a, it's a clinic. And you just walk out your door and there's just a mama elk right there with the baby. Just your average elk hanging out by a light post. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this does feel really deserty. Like high desert? Yeah. It's on the northeast side of the mountain things. You know, it would make me more happy if it was more deserty. Yeah. Like that looks like caramel over there. I feel like that's pretty deserty. Right, it is starting to go into shadow. Yeah. Some... This is like the kind of features that Walt Disney pulled off or pulled from for like Big Thunder Mountain. <laughs> like on the inside of the first lift hill and stuff. Yeah. There are caves and stuff that look like that. And it's kind of like a mix, but 
he really liked. He got into this kind of stuff doing his real life adventure series stuff. Like natural stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh, look at all the colors right in this one shot. Yeah. Like you come out here and you think, oh, it looks really bleak, but then you see the green of the trees and the blue of the sky reflected in the pool and the iron oxide. This may be a, an unpopular opinion in some circles, but Ryan and I are Disney fans. That's not the unpopular opinion. Well, for some people. <laughs> We're Disney fans. And when we lived in LA, we had annual passes. Annual passes. We, we were annual pass holders. I, here I'm getting to the unpopular opinion. <laughs> it's amazing to me how often we're out here in nature and I see the way a tree is leaning or the way there's like a mineral formation or a fountain of some sort. And I just say, that reminds me of a specific spot in Disneyland. Mm -hmm. And true. it's such a testament to the craftsmen and the artists who put so much work into Disneyland that we can be out in the actual real thing and say, that reminds me of Disneyland. It's true. <laughs> It's like a tide pool. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. All right, so imagine, I know that we do this a lot. We often go, oh my goodness, can you imagine if you were the first person to come to this place? And we do that like we go to areas that have mountains and beautiful lakes or beautiful rivers and we're just like, ah, oh, can you imagine being the person who discovered this and just being like, this is beautiful. But they're mountains. This country is covered in mountains. Like you see a mountain and you're like, hey, I saw another mountain. It was gorgeous and I loved it. But can you imagine? Yeah, coming here. Being the first person to see this. Why does it smell so bad and look so weird? And, and it's beautiful, but it's so alien. Yeah. And you would be like, where have I stumbled? And the first people that like tried to explore it and you step on something and fall in or... They used to let people like as late as the 1890s like take pictures on the terraces. Like go walk up onto the terraces and take pictures. There's pictures at the visitor center. That seems dangerous. But yeah, it's crazy. It's like, this is the biggest concentration of these kinds of formations anywhere in the world. And it picked the middle of the mountains in Wyoming. It's like, there's nothing else out here. That's why it picked it. Cause Wyoming's gotta have something. Because everything needs a Disneyland that brings <laughs> people to it. Everything needs a Disneyland. <laughs> I just can't get over these specific terraces though. Yeah, these are really They cool. are just spectacular. Mm -hmm. 